DeFi and the Future of Finance is a set of four courses that I'm offering that focus on decentralized finance. Let me set the stage. This course is about a forthcoming revolution in finance. It's remarkable that our centralized financial system has not substantially changed over the past century. While there's digitization, we have the same banks, brokers, exchanges, insurance companies, and central monetary authorities. I will argue that the current system is failing. Why does it cost 300 basis points every time a credit card is swiped? Why are savings rates zero or negative? Why are borrowing rates so high? Why is the transfer of money expensive, slow, and insecure? How is it possible in the age of the internet that it can take two days to transfer the ownership after I buy shares in a company? Why, during the global financial crisis, did we have to bail out the very institutions that caused the crisis? And why are there 1.7 billion people in the world that are unbanked and many more underbanked? Decentralized finance, or DeFi, is an emerging disruption. In decentralized finance, we interact amongst peers via smart contracts. These algorithms do not carry the baggage of traditional finance. There are no layers of bureaucracy and back office staff. When peers interact, there's no middle person making a large spread or commission. Furthermore, decentralized apps are interoperable. For example, in centralized finance, it might take days to send money from your broker to your bank or vice versa. No such delay exists in DeFi. Finally, the current system is very opaque. We rely upon government regulators to watch for trouble in our financial sector, and history suggests a dubious track record of monitoring. In DeFi, everything is transparent a key characteristic of blockchain technology. Let me describe what we cover in this learning experience. In the first course, DeFi Infrastructure, we begin by exploring the origins of DeFi and take a broad historical view from the earliest barter economies to the present day. We then focus on the key infrastructure components, blockchain, cryptocurrencies, smart contracts, oracles, stable coins, and decentralized applications, or dApps. Next, we focus on the specific problems that DeFi is designed to solve. Inefficiency, limited access, opacity, centralized control, and lack of interoperability. The second course is called DeFi Primitives. Here we talk about transaction mechanics, fungible and non-fungible tokens, or NFTs, custody, supply adjustment, incentives, swaps, collateralized loans, and flash loans. The third course is called DeFi Deep Dive. It is the longest of the four courses and focuses on some of the leading protocols in the DeFi space. We will look at credit and lending and feature MakerDAO, Compound and Aave, decentralized exchange with an analysis of how protocols like Uniswap work, derivatives featuring yield protocol, DYDX and synthetics, and tokenization with an analysis of the set protocol, as well as wrapped Bitcoin. The final course is called DeFi Risks. Any analysis of a new technology must clearly gauge the risks and challenges. The topics include smart contract risk, governance risk, oracle risk, scaling risk, decentralized exchange or DEX risk, custodial risk, environmental risk, as well as regulatory risk. Let me also tell you what this series is not. This set of courses does not teach you 
how to trade Bitcoin. This is a course about understanding the foundation of a new financial system. It is a system of inclusion, a financial democracy, where all peers are treated equally. Importantly, the current wave of fintech largely uses the current centralized financial architecture. I believe many of these firms are fleeting, and they, in turn, will be replaced by decentralized protocols. To be clear, I am not talking about a renovation of our current financial system. I'm talking about a complete rebuild from the bottom up. The course is largely based upon my new book, DeFi and the Future of Finance, written with Ashwin Ramachandran and Joy Santaro. If you want to be part of this revolution in finance, a good starting point is this course. This word cloud is interesting to me because looking at the cloud, there are certain words that you understand, like mint or oracle or maybe hash. But these words have special meaning within the DeFi space. And part of my goal is to go through and make sure you understand every single one of the words on this word cloud. And indeed, at the end of each course, I will show this cloud and check off all of the terms that we've actually uh, gone through. So uh, again, um, this is uh, a challenging uh, learning experience because the technology is new, the language is new. I got interested in this technology uh, very early on, in actually 2013. I was traditionally teaching a course on international finance, but I had not taught in seven years. And I decided to completely redo my course. And in redoing the course, the section on foreign exchange, I decided, well, let's add something new. If I do the dollar, the euro, the yen, what about cryptocurrency? And when I started reading all of the details of this new technology, I knew that I needed to pivot. That part of my job is to give students like you a vision of the future. And the more I read about blockchain technology and saw the, the new products that were being brought to market, a nascent technology, the more I believed that this is the future of finance. So let's get into it.